You also see on the right-hand side is assigned to Mary Ma'am, and it's marked Submitted, and they have a request ID. Additionally, as we go back and look at the header information over here, you get to see the SLA or the target that's associated to it. I get to see, you know, do I need to send this out to somebody else or need to share this? Remember, the collaboration. And I can go in and follow this, or in this case, unfollow. The reason it says, the reason it's unfollowed is because I created it. So I follow all the ones that I'm dealing with. Also, if Joe calls back, I have the ability to go and request this again. And so what this does is it actually presents me with an easier way to do things on a regular basis. Well, that's great. However, what I want to go in and do is maybe Joe's calling about something else the next day. All right, Joe cannot connect to email. Well, you know, Joe's our problem child. And so based off of that information, I need to go in and make sure that I have some relative or relevant data that's associated to that as well. If we look at our templates, that's great information. However, there could be some recommended knowledge that we have. He's unable to print. Well, that doesn't help me. Unable to connect to email. Hmm, this may be something that I need to look at, or maybe it's something that may resolve the problem. So I'll go ahead and pin that, okay? You may be familiar with PIN, you may be familiar with Pinterest, liking, following, things of that nature. And you can see I can go in and like that if it's helpful, right? I can do the thumbs up, Facebook, if you will. And then additionally, I also see some recommended tickets, some that are already out there that may be associated to this or helpful to resolve the problem. Lastly, what I also see is that the email is uh, unscheduled, it is now to just going on. So I'm going to make sure I relate that as well. So by pinning those items, what it does do is it gives me the ability to go in and like those items, to pin those items, and then I can actually go in and say maybe there's an email issue or, you know what, cannot connect to email. It is that specific one. So I'm going to create the ticket itself. Now, again, it is not saved. Why? Because it's making sure that you've got your I's dotted, T's crossed, look at the bottom, are all fields required or complete? confirm and save. That easily, we were able to go in and type in at Joe's information. We were able to go in and uh, associate it to the laptop, go in and based off of these suggested templates, it's going in to fill that for us as opposed to clicking and filling in the templates or clicking and finding the templates and things of that nature. And we would go in and look and see if there were any related knowledge articles that are associated to that as well. What that provides to us in the long run is you see at Joe's information, and I keep saying at Joe, but so that you get that in your head of that's how you fill it in. Joe's information as well as the desk and, uh, you know, his actual email. I can go in and see the affected service that's associated to this, which was, you didn't see me link it, it was automatically associated. And you get to see uh, who it's assigned to, uh, what group it's assigned to, the linked items. You can see the request information, uh, and you can see the status of that is in planning. And then if we go to the right-hand side, you get to see the activity that's associated to that as well. And I can go in and see the available resources that are in there. And remember, I pinned, uh, pinned the application at the top uh, and ended up unable to connect to email, and I was able to use that one. Okay. Should I need to go in and associate another item, I can do that. Not a problem. Uh, I can go in and have that information associated to this. Um, that is why it's there. So I can go in and do the checkbox and, and have that information at my fingertips. That in itself is BMC Remedy with Smart IT. Being able to have these things at your fingertips, being able to have it the way that you want to do it, is what makes this very intuitive, and it makes it to where it's easier to use. I can see my dashboard. I can see the information that's relevant to me. I can see the console that's very relative to me. I see the smart recorder and be able to use that without having to go in and fill in these forms. Again, forms is not a bad thing overall, but it can be one of those things that we can simplify by removing or reducing the forms that we have within our business. What that provides to me in the end is a smart way to go in and have that at my fingertips and cut my costs a lot lower by being able to provide better customer service and increasing this customer satisfaction.